Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're happy to be finishing up with our last rotary cutter. This is our six foot. This is probably as large as we will build just simply because of the way we ship and how many we ship. Any larger than this, it really becomes a problem. We do have seven and eight foot cutters from Fred Kane on our website and we do ship those, but we don't want to get into the high market of our own cutters that large. So six feet is, we have a four foot, a five foot, and a six foot. This is the last one we've done. The others have done really well out in the field and we've had a lot of good compliments on them, so we'll try to keep it going that way. Uh, this cutter is deeper than the four or the five foot in, in the deck there. It's nine and a half inches instead of seven. It has a cutting height from an inch and a half to 11 inches and a capacity of up to two and a half inches. Now, because this cutter has a four inch wide blade instead of a three inch wide blade, it should take down that bigger stuff in the two and a half inch range much easier than with a three inch because you're gonna have so much more rotating mass to just simply take it out instead of kind of chew at it. So um, with this cutter, we've added the, uh, the skids down here coming standard instead of having to order them as an option later, they'll come standard with the extra quarter inch skid under the front. That's where they hit when they go into the sides of when you're changing terraces or terrains. They're all gonna come with a clevis style hitch makes it a lot easier, twice as easy to hook up as the single pin. And all bush hogs have some type of something. So when your top link is hooked up, you don't want it tight like you do a normal implement. So when you roll over a hill, it doesn't pick up the back of your bush hog. Or when you come down a hill and you, your tractor gets onto the straight area, it doesn't try to pick up your tractor either. You want to be this, this wants to be at about a 45 degree angle, so when it does need to pick it up, it can, and when it needs to come back further off a hill, it can also do that. Um, we've also added a nice little pocket here to set the drive shaft in. I've seen a lot of these lost over the years where the front half, the, the, the farmer, the customers lost his front half. Uh, because he hooked the chain to the top and when you go down the road what it'll do is it'll bust the little plastic piece where the chain is held. That chain is there to do no more than keep the cover from turning. One chain is supposed to be hooked to like a lift arm on your tractor. The other chain would be hooked around this bar and that keeps the shield from turning wrapping up grass. But we do hook the chains together so the shaft doesn't pull apart during transit. Um, all the six foot cutters, because a lot of the tractors in this size that'll be using a six foot cutter will have independent PTO. And like the older Fords, when you engage them, they engage really hard. So you've got so much rotating mass here when you engage it, instead of, instead of uh, just starting the blades immediately, there's so much weight there that what it would do is pop a pin. So if you had a shear bolt and you engaged your PTO, it would simply just pop the pin. So we've gone with only a slip clutch on the six foot cutter because that way when you, when you engage an independent PTO and it engages really hard, what it's gonna do is it's gonna slip the clutch a little bit while it brings the blades up to speed. It ain't gonna hurt anything. You'll never know it happened and that's the way it works the best especially with these four inch wide blades. You've just got so much mass here. Uh, this plate that the gearbox is bolted to is half inch. A lot of the tractors over the years that had independent, I've seen so many of these where the gearbox is tilted because that's the direction that the, the force is being given from the drive shaft. So we made this a half inch plate where it can't bend this plate because then your blades are running crooked and you don't want that. So we've tried to take what I've learned over the last 30 or 40 years into selling these and using them and just making one that's simple, easy, relatively inexpensive, but a great value. This is a 75 horsepower gearbox. So you've got plenty of gearbox on it. We've used the laminated tail wheel, the double wishbone yoke here to keep you with extra strength here. We've given you a lot of adjustment right here. Now, the, the back band is on it right now. And for me to sell it, I've pretty much got to put that on there for liability and safety. 
And if you're around any children, cars, roads, you should leave that on there because these can throw a rock or something a good distance. But if you're in your own field and you've got plenty of room all the way around you and you want your debris to discharge easier and not, not get so uh, thick in there, you can take off the back and it's not going to spread near as far as the front wheel. Taking the back off is only a partial opening and then it will let the debris and things out easier and more directly behind you. Now we fully welded all of the cross rails all the way across, all of the top pieces are welded. And what we've done on this, for, for when we roll this piece of metal and put it to the top deck, it's welded with a full weld, no stitch welds top and on the inside. A lot of the cutters I've seen have no welding at all on the inside. And that is the worst place to get the rust and stuff started where you've got that fertilized grass and stuff slinging into there. So we three welded it on both sides. Same way with everything on the whole top of the deck. So on the front van, it doesn't come down as far. And this, if you're around people, uh, you still should definitely keep this band on here. You can remove it on the front. You're gonna get a little dustier on the tractor. It does a lot more good to release debris or take the back shield off than it does the front. If you're gonna be doing some really heavy cutting big trees and stuff, you're either gonna bend this guard or you need to remove it. There's a 3 16th thick channel that's welded right here, top and bottom, to give you a lot of strength here to help push those saplings and small trees over. This is a class five shaft and in everything attachments, we've done everything we can do to help give you the best value on the market for your new rotary cutter. If you've got any, any questions, give us a call or an email at everything attachments and we'll be happy to help you. Mm -hmm.